Hello YouTube, Jonathan Gaming here. We're gonna bring us some uh, Roblox warships. We're going to play as Argo. Game is gonna do finish this round and do one more. So when you're playing carrier, you have to, um, especially Argo, you have to take care of your planes. So you really do not want to come across. Right now, I say the best points are torpedoes. You press T to use them, use it from a distance, and you can get some pretty good damage. 120k. This is the same for all um, carriers, too, including the level 1 hauler. Argo is different to most carriers just because of its battleship gun. It has less torpedoes than the, well, less planes in general than the other ships, but it can do some very rapid damage, especially up close. Can I quickly finish off this destroyer? Diving down makes you gain speed. Press T for distance. Try to not get shot and miss your torpedoes. Here's I flung someone, so whoops. So currently destroy the base, not much time left, don't know what to do. So as carrier, what you mostly want to do is use your torpedo planes. Fighters are good for air-to-air -air combat, like that. They're also pretty good with dealing with zeppelins if you spam R, which is the missiles. Very inaccurate, does some damage. So the other good carrier is Emancipation, but because it has a, quite a few more divers, and I think it has double of Argos. I'm gonna use some divers to show you that these are best to deal with ETs. Well, I saw you sunk my. I saw you destroyed most of my diamonds, but I got the key. You usually want to. So, in order to do that, you have to dive. Dive and then spam G. So when it comes to using battleships, you usually want to spam R, which is just to fire your secondary so you can aim. A bit later today. There we go. Argo does a uh, 100 uh, K broadside with the gun and 120k from the torpedo planes. Here's I'm getting shot at by a patrol boat. So how to deal with patrol boats is you predict where they're gonna go and you just fire. Yeah, not that much time to destroy the base. You can destroy 
what you do not want to do with this kamikaze. What you want to do is to take off, do whatever you want to do. You only have one torpedo per plane. You might hear by a friend frantically pressing the key. There is a sub there. You can kind of see it through my graph max graphics just to show I'm not cheating. Okay. It's gone now. Don't know where it's at. So to deal with Zeppelin as a carrier, which is I really do not approve of because Zeppelins have the best anti-air in the game. Uh, you want to use fighters and you want to come in from a high angle and dive it and spam R. That's the and holding F, which is to use the machine guns. Assault. Okay, we're on the team deathmatch team of assault. It's always on the same map. Blue team has to make a U-turn, basically. So, in this map, Red usually takes out the first base before most of the ships can get there. As carrier, you are usually the first in battle along with the patrol boats. There's a patrol boat, can't really do much. I could just yellow it. You can hold C to do a U-turn, but that also gives you a different camera angle, camera mode. Okay, so on how on using divers, one airplane but what you want to do is you want to fly up, you want to go parallel with the uh, uh, ship you want to target. You then want to, you have to be at a high altitude and then you just look down and spam the deep. You usually want to have a better aim, you want to keep, um, you want to lead your shots or they don't do much damage as you see. Argo has a different playstyle compared to the other carriers because you don't have as many planes and you can usually fight on your own and that's some fighters. I'm gonna make a U-turn. Right. You can use this as battleship as holding R. Well, not holding, but as you see, I have my main guns. They're not lo reloading at, even after I fire. This is really useful to keep aim, to aim, and I still overshot. That's fighters I have to bail. It appears they don't know how to use the machine guns. It appears they also sank. Advice for Argo, you want to keep planes ready at all times. So you can do something like this. Okay, 
do that. You turn. And once you get back to your carrier, your guns are loaded and you're ready to do another salvo. Argo can have one of the highest uh, DPSs in the game. DPS for the people who don't know is damage per second. It appears we're really stomping the red team currently. Zargo, your worst nightmare is a uh, Zeppelin because of their really powerful anti-air. They can wipe out your entire uh, oh, there's a sub there. Appears to be a bull shark by the amount of missiles. There we go, problem solved. Okay, some torpedoes out. Not a good, good angle at all. Got one hit. That's the one good thing about Argo. If your planes fail, that doesn't mean you fail. You got guns. Wonder what's going on on Red Team. Advice for destroyers, close the distance, then the torpedoes won't do any damage due to torpedo army. I'll let that guy have it go. Here's we might be able to help. Thought we could outrun the torpedoes. There we go. Capturing smoke screens are usually pretty easy, just go for the name tag. Here's the carrier might that carrier might be out of or I used their salvo. Oh no. They were just probably missing. Okay, now that's a threat. I've, I would really say do not be a 
afraid to retreat because you can get easily overwhelmed. Why am I not feeling torpedoes today? Also, a good advice on how to make money in this game, so you can afford an Argo if you really want, is to just do a lot of damage. Um, I have been able to get uh, over a million damage in a Hurricane, the tier 1 battleship, so with enough practice, a bit of luck, and a good amount of sniping, you should be able to. That's how you sink a PT, by the way. Totally not luck there. Okay, so we lost a base, but that they have to destroy all three bases in order to win. have a competent carrier on red team now. Oh, by the way, I am pressing X to land at the carrier. large amount of damage. Sounds like fighters. By the way, when playing a sub, you do not want to do that. You want to get some distance so the torpedoes work. By the way, when you play as most carriers, you tend to want to stay far from the battlefield. Which is pretty true since carriers are pretty defenseless, but not Argo. Argo can sustain itself in a 1v1 very well. At. Also, when pretty much when you're out of planes as Argo, you are a battleship. You can't really do much. You are comparable to like 
think an Achilles. With that 100k broadside. Uh oh. Well, that's how you deal with the sub as Argo who just go battle one first. Uh oh, I'm missing all my shots. I'll just show you some fighter gameplay for the last. Okay, so as you see, I'm holding F. This is anti-air guns. They're only effective against um, planes and zeppelins. Now I'm gonna press R. Very inaccurate. Can do some damage. I usually go first person. That's how you wipe out an entire enemy squadron. Pretty effective, as this is almost as comparable to uh, Zeppelin anti air. Because that thing can wipe you out. Just, you fly near a Zeppelin, you can just go pop. If a Zeppelin is sitting above you at, and at the right height race, you spawn your plane, so you're instantly destroyed. That's pretty good. There's the money. I don't really know how, what it, what is good when it comes to making money. So, hope this has helped you be a better carrier. Maybe see if you like Argo or not. So, anyways, thanks for watching. This is Jonathan Game.